Hiya there ladies and gents. Well today I'm going to do something a little bit different. If you're someone who's enjoying playing Minecraft, you might like this as well. Now as we all know, there's plenty of things on Minecraft that people like. It's got a certain look and a certain feel to it. Big open spaces and blocky terrain. And there's quite a few other games that that applies to as well. But this one in particular is not like the others. There's a lot of ones that are a bit like a, a cash grab. There are some that are just really shoddily made, but that doesn't apply here. Now this, Rhyme Test, I know it's also available on Linux as well, I'm not sure if it is for Mac, it probably is, but it's free and open source. And so this here is the mine test engine. Of course you can join any server that you want to. These are set up by individual people or maybe small groups of people and then they enjoy playing on it. Now I'm not going to log into any of these for the time being. Now the reason being is I know for a fact Xanadu does not allow YouTube videos to be made about it. That one I've only been on once. And this one here, I'm not sure whether I would be allowed to or not, and I play on that one mostly. And I don't want to get into trouble with the admin, should I do that. So, what I will do is create a new world, and this is how you would do it. So, world name, I'll call it YouTube. The seed will be automatically done. You can put float lands on if you want. Yeah, we'll have float lands. So that, that's everything there. So we'll put create. And then you click this button here, select mods. Because when you first create one of these worlds, it's like, think of it like a blank canvas. So put enable damage. You can go in creative mode if you want to. I don't. So we'll select some mods. Right, so we have a look in here. I'm going to do baked clay, basic materials, anvil, we don't want to be without that. Yeah, beauty flowers will do. Beds, that allows us to skip night time. Bone meal. Bees, charcoal, coal from trees. I'm picking the ones that I know does work. Ethereal, drawers, we'll definitely want that. Doors, we want that. We want farming. Inventory bags. Hmm. Inventory plus. I3. Now this one here, Lumberjack, can be useful, but I'm not going to use it on this occasion. And that is mostly because it gets very difficult to chop down your first tree since you've got to do it from the top node and go down to the bottom. But once you have get a certain amount of points, you can then just click the bottom node of the, the tree and the whole lot will come down. So it can be useful, but for our purposes showing you this, probably not. Living Nether... Now these here then with MCL, that stands for Mine Clone. You can actually go onto Mine Clone and it'll make it as much like Minecraft as possible if, if that's your thing. Enable the Miscons mod pack. Enable the animals. Enable the monsters. You can have M uh, the NPCs if you want to. I'm not going to. You definitely want more blocks more ores, 
mow trees. Adds more MISCON items, we'll have that. Mobs water. Not very bothered about more lights. There is a music mod pack in there, that's for if you want... Oh, in-game playback and custom track registration. Well, that will allow you to have stuff in there. Enable the nether mods. Right. But you can actually have some music playing if you want to. Right, this is obsidian stuff. I might enable that. I'm hoping that I haven't enabled anything that's going... Oh, that all that's going to download from that. Right. Protector. That would only really apply if you were on a, a multi one, you know, with multiple player. Player plus. You can enable player plus. I'll just check that there's nothing that I've missed out that I actually want. Now, another good thing I will tell you about this, uh, about mine test, is it will run even if you have a computer that is not powerful enough to run Minecraft. I was on such a computer a while back and that's how I got into this. Mob core. I don't need, particularly need that one. Mob kit enabled. Okay. Pie. You can make pies. Regrowing fruits, that's a good one as well. We want to add some stamina. Oh, how could I forget that? We can have unified inventory, unified dice don't need a teleport potion when users leaf decay we don't need x farming I'm not going to bother with wildlife I think we've added enough creatures so I'm not going to spend any more time on this but if you did want to look and see oh and enable technique if you wanted to have a look um, if you press this button here find more mods you can actually find loads and loads of mods. With this being an open source project, anyone can write a mod. Anyone can alter the, the code on the game. Not that I would understand it because um, I can't really write much code except for a very tiny little bit of Python. But yeah, you can find more mods. Uh, I do believe the language that they're written in is Lua. And I don't know any Lua, so... There we are. So what I'm going to do now is press save and then press play game. Now it might take a little while at this point. Oh, so there is some things that it needs to download. Um, yeah, I'll just edit the bit out where it's doing the downloading and then you guys will be able to, unless it's finished now. It does this creating server thing for a while. It just creates it on the computer. Yeah, it looks like it does have a couple more. 
You see, the thing is in mind test, there are some things that are substantially different from Minecraft. I mean, when it comes to the mining, you'll notice the most stark differences because in Minecraft, you go down to negative 64, I believe it is. But in mind test, you can actually go down way further to 32,000 below. And I know that because on the server where I usually play, I've actually reached the bottom. And it really is that far down. But you won't hit bedrock, it'll just be sort of like uh, this blank space that you can walk on. It's really weird, but you know when you've hit the bottom anyway. The caves are quite a bit different as well. There's different stuff in these caves. There's different ores, as you'll see in a second. This should be um, almost done. I think it's nearly finished downloading these updates yeah it looks like it's finished it's gone on to this phase now and it doesn't take appreciably longer even if you're on a slower computer believe it or not here we go ah now it's put me in the middle of a jungle that's not bad so the first thing I need to do is look about getting some food Fortunately for me, there is... Oh, there's a carrot here. And we'll keep that for farming purposes. Because I'm going to grab these apples here. Oh, I've eaten that one. I wasn't intending to eat it. I was intending to, to pick it. Now... Another difference you'll notice, you don't actually need to do a crafting table on this game. It's already there. If you just press the escape button, that, there's those there. So when you want to exit to the operating system, you can do that. Right, that's it. Actually, I'll get more. You can't have too many apples. Can't get too much food. And you see this space here? I didn't have to jump. So there are some things that are a fair bit different from Minecraft, if that's what you've been accustomed to playing. And there are way, way more trees. As you can see, this has given me a apple tree sapling from when I, where I've been breaking these leaves. I'll do for now. What's this one? Oh, that's that's just a flower. I believe some of the things I've put on here are a little different than oh, ginger. We'll have to start cultivating that as well. Now, the same as in Minecraft, you do have to break grass in order to get seeds. It is a bit of a pain, but as you can see there, I've got a wheat seed. You can eat the brown mushrooms, but don't, don't eat any spotted ones. You'll end up regretting that if you do. Those are mainly decorative flowers. Of course, we've got the um, sheep right there. I've come out of the jungle, actually, and they find some more stuff in other biomes now this will take a long time to break oh no it won't there's a pumpkin those trees right over there where my cursor is 
those are my personal favourite trees. This biome here is not exactly my favourite. This is an oak here. It's huge. Ah, there we go. Some potatoes. We do want them spuds. It's a bit early in the game to be lopping down a tree of this size, I'll be honest with you. For now, we're exploring. We're collecting some supplies, which is then going to become our crops. As you can see, some things are fairly similar to what you were familiar with in Minecraft. Some vanilla. Not sure what this is. Oh, still don't need that. There's quite a few just random items in this game. That's an entrance to a cave system. Pretty deep down there. We're not going to go into the caves just yet. Cabbages. I'm getting just enough to actually start farming. I don't need that. There are plenty of different biomes. And they, that's the, the jungle with the jungle wood. Some more jungle over there. The, this here is another biome. So, if I want to set up home, one thing is I will be needing for the crops is some water. So, what I'm going to do, because I don't have a bucket yet. So, it may be beneficial for me to do my farm down here. It won't be the first time that, I, oh, that I've uh, done a farm like this. I'm trying not to wreck the beach too much. I don't want to make it look terrible. This will be enough just to get us started. Let's put that there. Okay. Now the next thing I need to do is to get a little bit of wood we need to make uh, some tools just the starter tools we don't again we don't need anything fancy and this part does work how you would expect I'll leave those in the crafting table in case we need more than one, which, to be fair, we may. And of course I can expand this farm as much as I want to.
All this is just done with left clicking. remember how to, well I can remember how to do it but uh, I don't have the uh, everything I need yet to do that. So that's gotten us some starter food. I might just break some more grass and fill up the space. There are plenty of other foods, but not yet. It's a bit early for us to start worrying about that just yet. All we wanted to do is to start growing as food. And if you notice, I now have a couple of barley as well. Perfect. That will get us started. Eat a bit of this. We need a bit more wood. But before we do that, It will tell me in a set moment. Set home. Just remembering how it's done. Is it an underscore? I will have to look that up. Just give me a moment. So what I do for now. Let's go on to here. Because I feel completely stupid for getting how to do this. Right. Right, server command, because these basically are the server command. I do feel like a complete burke. Right, okay. I will resolve this. So how do I find all of the... Right, clear. Set password clear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Is it there? Not sure what that was. I will figure this out because this is important. Ah, okay. Home set. There we go. Thank God for that. I was beginning to think as I'd lost the plot for a moment there. You can see there are cre different creatures. If we want to know what it is, hold on. Press F5. It's a crocodile. Oh dear. I died. Oh, the crocs disappeared. But as you can see, what happened there is I teleported home and... I now have this, which is handy. Oh, it won't let me use those bones for bone meal for whatever reason. Oh, I think I'll plant this. It'd be a bit useful to have that tree there. thing I can do at least while it's dark. Let's bring down one of these trees. So I'm going to use this for the wood. As you might imagine with pillar up just like you would on Minecraft you can tell I hadn't played single player in a while with me not remembering that set home Of course the beauty of this type of game is you can do pretty much whatever you like. And naturally I've got a sapling as well. So you can always replant the trees, it doesn't just clear the area, thankfully. Leaves belonging to the neighbouring tree. It is from the looks of this anyway. So let's get that done.
that's broken so let's make myself another put my wood down there quite easily get another is a good thing We will be upgrading from this type of tool as well. I mean, the, the wooden ones take quite a while. Of course you do get faster ones, much faster ones. These type of trees tend to bury themselves quite a bit into the ground. Oh, no wonder these leaves are not destroying themselves. Annoyingly, I have to peel it back up. Miss this one. Sometimes you can't always see them. And it's dawn. Good. we can see better then because I'll be honest with you we could do with some cobble As I said, there is quite a lot of different choices available for wood. I, I will use this. Simply because it's the most available in this biome. Right, okay. Just make it look a little bit more natural here now. Useful. Right, that's that little part done. And I believe we're going to get some cobblestone in for that. We're going to have to do a little bit of mining. So if I was to put my mine about here, of course once we reach a chamber we'll be able to do more.
there's a good reason for me wanting that. The sand as well. So believe it or not, the recipes are for the sand and the glass is pretty much the same as what you would expect it to be. It's the same as Minecraft. And this of course is going to allow us to have a furnace and also to stop using the wood tier tools which I'm sure you'd be very grateful to actually do. You can fire up the cobblestone if you want to. I'm not going to do a great deal in terms of the mining just yet. I, I basically was after the cobblestone more than anything. Although that will change. As you can see, this is quite a bit quicker. And I also need to make some charcoal because if we're going to go mining, we're going to need torches. We don't have any coal yet, but we can get some charcoal. That was one of the mods that I put on. I'll go for as long as I can see reasonably well. Ah, here's a piece. Now you'll notice as well sometimes the, the ores will generate quite a bit different from what they do in Minecraft. They um they generate more like in a fractal pattern so they're not generating exactly the same as uh, what they do on Minecraft so sometimes it's not all together in one clump necessarily you just have to bear that in mind while you do your mining otherwise you could do um, you see we had ones there, there's a, another block of it here because the last thing you want to do is to miss to miss something and then you're like oh right let's see right Actually, I can throw these away, and this, and this. Now, just to let you know, when you do, when you do use the cobblestone, this you've noticed that's higher than what you thought it may have been. It will actually stock, stack up to ninety nine. So the stacks are ninety nine, not sixty four. That's always a brucey bonus because it means then you're not carrying around a load of extra stacks to, unless you absolutely have to. And of course, when you want to add a bit of extra light, you, you need only do that. Keep on the same square, Helen. That there is the white sand. You see the sand up there is like yellow. This is more like silver sand. You could either use it decoratively or you can turn it into silver sandstone. Or you can just fire it up and it'll behave like any other sand and you can make um, the glass with it. 
You don't really need it yet. But I figured this was the best course of action to do the uh, a little bit of mining now. Now if you see we're on number 11 and a half just up here, that's how far down we are. Come back up. And as you can see this is now a full grown apple tree. And I can get some apples. It said as it's regrowing fruits, so hopefully it won't take long for some more fruits to actually spawn on here. At least it means as we ain't going to starve. While we wait for the other crops to grow. Because when you first get into the game, that's one of your first and foremost thoughts to get your food sorted. And again, these will stack to 99. Everything stacks to 99 in this game. okay and as you can see this is growing nicely now not going to bother getting every single apple I don't need to what I will do for the moment if I just put my furnace here The flame does last a long time. You can also use wood in the furnaces, by the way, if you are short on fuel. something uh, I do need to do as well back into my inventory a second Probably a good idea to put some of my things in here like that and that I'm going to plant around here so I just want to clear some land planting I don't mean planting, I mean building.
It's going to have a nice little house, nothing too fancy at this stage. I can always build something fancier later on. So, yeah, we can use this. And this also works as you'd expect, you know, use your right mouse button, hold and drag. Nope, don't want to do that yet. that's a bit sad I can make it a bit bigger than that I like L-shaped houses they do tend to look nice or at least they do in my opinion your mileage may vary of course you don't have to build a house the same way as I'm doing mine the beauty of games like this is that you can do whatever you want Before I do anything else, I just want to make some axes. Because we will be needing more. As you can see, it's not going to take me too long to throw up this nice house. That'll do for the moment. Well, there is something else I'd like to do. No, is it this way around or the other? That'll do. I can make it a two-story building or just keep it as the one it doesn't matter either way have that like that and then the wooden door I know this is quite basic but 
to do is for what we want. Oh, that looks a little strange there. So what I will do is that. And the same again here. There we go. Ah, okay. We will need that for processing the grains. And use the rest of this. Oh, got even more grains here. Actually, there's something I can use these for. get rid of those. I like to do a little touch like that. Leave that in there. We need that for making bread. Although for the moment, I think we'll settle for some baked potatoes. We will increase grain production a little later. But for now, uh, we could go back in the mines. I think I need some more at least one more axe. And of course when it comes to the roof we are going to need some more wood as well so those axes I've made will come in handy as well. And every time we're going to get more resource like this we're also getting a little further into the mine. And we will start coming across ores and things like that. Even though the only thing we'll come across at this kind of height is just more coal. And a couple of hundred down, you start getting your iron. Ah, looks like we've got a dungeon there. That can be pretty useful in terms of finding some various supplies. They'd like us to get a little further down along the wall first before we go exploring that. I think this might have truly been the end of this but when you do this you have to make sure because as I say they are they, it does spawn fractally 
Ah, there we go, got my bearings now. I'm sure you've most likely seen people build with things a little bit better than cobble, but to be honest with you, I actually quite like the cobble in this game. It's a nice texture. I have to go so far as to say it does look a bit better than Minecraft's cobble, to be honest. Your mileage may vary, of course. just to let you know something you can stick things on there Oop. you won't find any particularly bad enemies this this distance thankfully So that this heads into a cave system. Not bad. Uh oh. As I say, the only thing we're going to be finding here, at this level, is this. Look at that. Okay, if that's another route out. That just shows you we're not particularly far down. We can get a little more done here. I have to get myself a sword. go that'll do me
actually I could do it that way. Let's have a look see how this looks from outside. Oh no, the windows are too small if I do it that way. Crop can't get in. Some meat. Oh. I was going to put the meat in the oven, but um, it hasn't finished cooking the baked potatoes because there wasn't enough fuel. I get some some of that too. Well, that's a a bonus. We'll leave that for the moment. See, you've got a beautiful little scene there. this works as you would expect too. Just the right amount. I know there's no roof on it, but I might as well bring this inside now. Now you notice there's plenty of different output slots as well, just over here. There we are. One thing I haven't done yet, needed to make some more of these. put these in here for now I'll keep this with me just in case you always keep an eye on your hunger
going to get some more soil I'm going to expand that farm down there Oh. Yeah, I need to get some more tools made and a bit more cobble. It's okay, come back down, carry on down. Always well worth expanding the farm. best way to do an early farm this is I may as well put these other couple of potatoes in oh ginger Carrots. Cabbages. Cabbages aren't that great to be fair. They've virtually doubled the size of the farm now. And, yep, I'm going to get a bit more cobble. Happy with the way things are going so far. You can probably see by now the extent of the similarity between this game and the others and Minecraft especially um, but again you will get to see significant differences later on in the game this is just the first of the playthrough now for those of you who have been watching the Stardew Valley playthrough please don't worry uh, I haven't abandoned that I simply wanted to show you this game as well because I really do like this.
in some ways that it, I believe it may even be better than Minecraft but again your mileage might vary and what one person likes isn't necessarily what somebody else will so with that in mind I may not actually complete the house today and um, that's because it will take a little bit longer to complete building this house and because of that it's probably better that I sign off in a moment or two otherwise I'm going to end up with this video going on forever so let's get back up here of course I, I can eat I can save this sand in case I was to use any more glass. Don't think I will at this moment in time though. So what I'm going to do... Ah, oh, there's my meat. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll just show you how to make flour. You can get that. And to make bread, all you do is pop that one into the oven and that will bake a loaf of bread. Now for the time being, I'm just going to put all this into here. I'll keep my food out, but I'll put everything else back in here. And then once everything's been sorted, tomorrow... As promised, I will be showing you some more stuff. So I'm just all you have to do because it automatically saves everything. You just put exit to operating system or exit to menu, whichever of those. Ah, and I'll set home again. There we go. So that when I do use the home command, if you just watch this. It transports you exactly back to where you are. So if you're in serious danger in a cave, anything like that, you can just use the home command. That will bring you straight back here with no issues whatsoever. And that being said, I'll say bye for now. And tomorrow you will see us complete the building of this house. Goodbye.